Welcome to another video in this series of die casting. Here we're going to be understanding the die casting defects. What are die casting defects? A casting defect is an irregularity in the metal casting process that is very undesirable and some major defects can cause castings to be rejected. It can also cause a part to become a danger to the end user and potentially a catastrophic failure. It is vital to understand the different defects in die castings and how to identify them. On the right here, we have a typical porosity defect in a casting. In this video, we're going to be covering the common defects found in castings. Gas porosity. What is gas porosity a defect? This is the formation of bubbles within the casting after it has cooled. This occurs because most liquid metals can hold a large amount of dissolved gas, but the solid form of the same material cannot, so the gas forms of bubbles or voids within the material as it cools. We can see here on the right a typical porosity defect on a casting. Best way to check castings for porosity is with x-ray equipment for non-destructive inspection or simply by cutting the casting into sections and checking for voids. This is a destructive test so cannot be carried out on all samples. This defect, depending upon the severity of the porosity, can lead to major defects and high scrap rates. Critical component example would be a tunnel extraction fan blade. Short shot. So what is a short shot defect? A short shot or misrun occurs when the liquid metal does not completely fill the mold cavity, leaving an unfilled portion. We can clearly see this unfilled portion in this casting here in this image. This is a short shot defect. Best way to check castings for short shots is to inspect the final castings to ensure all dimensions have been met. Most short shot defects are obvious, but some may be subtle and not obvious to the eye. This defect will result in castings being scrapped as the final casting shape has not been produced. Potential corrective actions for this is to increase shot volume, increase injection pressure, increase die temperature. A cold shut. What is a cold shut defect? Cold shuts occur when two fronts of liquid metal do not fuse properly in the die cavity, leaving a weak spot. We can see an example in this picture here where the two liquid metal fronts have met but not fused, leaving this obvious failure mode. Best way to check castings for cold shuts is to check them by eye as this defect will be visible. The cold shut will either be in just a section or right across the entire casting. This defect will result in the castings being scrapped as the casting has a weak point and will not have full integrity. Hot tear. What is a hot tear defect? Hot tears are the formation of irreversible failure or a crack in the still semi-solid casting. This occurs in the solidification phase of the casting process. In this image here, we can see a hot tear defect. The cracks are clearly obvious, but we've encircled them just to make it clear. Best way to check castings for hot tears is to check them by eye, as most of these defects will be visible. However, in some cases, it may be necessary to inspect through magnification or even x-ray. This defect will result in the castings being scrapped, as the casting has a weak point and will not have full integrity. Excessive flash. What is Excessive flash defect. Excessive flash is the additional unrequired material attached to the main casting. 
This is often caused by either the injection pressure is too high or the clamp pressure is too low, resulting in the injected metal flowing out between the die halves. The image on the right clearly shows this casting has way too much flash. This defect is visible with the eye. This will not result in scrapped components, but will incur additional cost for post-casting finishing to remove the excess flash. Don't forget to check out our other videos in this series, and you can contact us if you need any help with your projects in China. Oh, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And see this little bell symbol on the right hand side here? Don't forget to hit that because that will notify you each time we upload new content. Thanks for listening. My name is Paul Adams and I shall see you in the next video.